skilling a challenge in in the state as Google raised this as a concern or other MNCs who might be looking because there is a general an overarching concern mm -hmm. in India that we do not have the skills of the future. Is that a concern in Andhra Pradesh and how are you looking at addressing it? No, skilling uh, is not an India problem. It's a global problem. Hmm. Every country is going through this pain point. Hmm. But what I'm doing in Andhra, because skills also comes under my ministry. Right. And the way we're doing it is we have now created a portal of trying to figure out not just matching supply and demand, hmm. which few portals do do that. Hmm. We're not only doing that, we're also looking at the skill intervention to be done. Okay. So what is the skill upgradation to be done? What are the sectors where we, this upgradation should happen? That is one. Second is what I call cluster, clusterization. Hmm. This is very, very important. Hmm. So how can I create the entire ecosystem of manufacturing of a certain sector in 100 hmm. kilometer radius? So let's take an example. Of excellence. Uh, manufacturing. Manufacturing. Of, excellence. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. So let's take electronics as an example. Hmm. Right? Now, uh, a mobile phone. There's a housing, there's a screen, there's a camera module, there's a camera lens, there's a battery. Hmm. Then there's a box, the retail box, the manual, the accessories. Hmm. Everything should be within 100 kilometer radius. I call this verticals. Ah. Right. Now let's talk about horizontal. That's where skilling, hmm. you know, uh, uh, workforce that's ready hmm. to look at assembly, manufacturing, Absolutely. testing facilities. So we're doing this in air conditioning. 50% of India's air conditioners come from Andhra Pradesh and it's going to go up to 70% with the new in investments made. Mm. So I met with all of them mm. and we're now discussing on how can we do all the testing, the certification mm. that happens in Europe and different parts of the world actually happening in Andhra Pradesh. And they themselves are uh, adopting a few ITIs and polytechnics and mm. they are giving us the curriculum and saying, boss, just implement this. So we're working very closely with the industry. Mm. So one is this portal which we call Naipunyam Mm. which is going to get launched around around November. Okay. And the other part is the entire clusterization. I believe that these two mm. will have a clear... Tell me a little bit advantage. about the role of the private sector in this whole skilling, skilling initiative. Uh, for instance, will Google be skilling some people according to their... Is, 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 the, is that part of the agreement? The skilling? Absolutely. And is that something that you are asking the private sector to you know factor in when they come to invest or set up in Andhra Pradesh? Absolutely. I'm actually asking the private sector to tell me uh, ah, in, in like if you take IT, right? Hmm. Where's the next wave of jobs going to get created? Which part of AI? Hmm. You know, what is the role of quantum computing in this entire ecosystem? Hmm. And then what can we do as a state in augmenting it? Hmm. Okay. And that, that's how we're working closely with the private sector. And air conditioning, I just shared an hmm. example. Yeah. We want, we are doing this with electronics. We're doing this with compressed biogas. Hmm. We're doing this with key already. Hmm. And then okay. medical devices manufacturing, pharma. Okay. So we're already working with the uh, with the, uh, the titans of the industry in these sectors, mm -hmm. in on skilling and building out the entire ecosystem.